I'm not like you. I care what people think. You don't care about anything, Damien. Your fantasy world and your friends scare me. I scare you? Or are you just scared to actually fucking feel something? So let me get this straight. You let me hold you while you cry all night and then you wake up this morning and that's it? We're done? All because you're afraid of what people will think of you? What do you want me to say? That I'm willing to throw my whole life into your hand just because you say you care about me? That's crazy. I'm not a character in one of your plays. I, when have I ever treated you that way? What the fuck was last night? I don't even know who I am anymore. It's like in a month and three days, you've decided that I'm your whole world. Well, guess what, Dinian? You're not mine! Not everyone walks around tearing down other people for their own enjoyment, claiming it is honest. That's honesty? Are you fucking kidding me? How honest have you been with me? You kissed me, remember? You told me you liked me, you made the moves on me, and it turns out you're the one with the fucking girlfriend! So how the fuck is any of that my fault? You're not Justin, I'm not Brian, this is not a fucking TV show! I have actual feelings, and you made me your experiment! And you made me yours! This is why I can't be with you or be around you. Because you are a mess. You make me a mess. You make my life a mess. Then why haven't you left? So I felt bad for you. I felt bad no one would ever love you. So how much of what you told me was actually true? Obviously you're not a gay virgin, you took it like a whore on poppers in a bathhouse. You're fucking disgusting. Like who the fuck even says that? Great deflection. Let me go. If you run away now, you are dead to me. The fact that you can hurt people without understanding that they have feelings is remarkable, but I guess that's what happens when you're a confused little bitch. Go fuck yourself. Go kill yourself. Out of your heart. Take off the jacket. You ready for round two? No, I'm late to meet my friend. I am. Okay. Didn't invite you here to talk. I invited you here to get me off, and you did that, so. Thanks. Ugh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a busy day of watching shifty people try to act. Dude, this is like a real theater. Like a real play about us. I can't believe Rachel went to Calabasas this weekend. And she's gonna miss my camping trip. My birthday camping trip. Are you should be ready for this? It's not even like a month. Is anyone really ready for this? Plus, I need to write it now. I don't want to forget the moments of clarity and the cloud of confusion. Because it wasn't all bad, it was just all... All right, Dean, when you told me I would be stage managing this masturbatory self-deprecating ode to the boy who used you and ran away, didn't think we'd be in a real theater with so many hot guys wanting to be in your Cinderella. Hmm. I'm gonna go outside and have a cigarette. Precasting? Mm -hmm. Okay, fuckers, this is it. 
The only thing that matters is the story, all right? Keep me honest. You know, if you don't make me look good, I'm never talking to you again. It's like you're in my head. Scary thought. Enough red flags to make a mini golf course. But I'm still down because I've seen much worse. I'll ignore those warning signs. Whatever it takes to make you mine. I didn't say I was smart, I'm just a silly lover Cause the way that you smile makes my heart forget the others I can pretend I'm the only one that's hitting it I call it love, my friends call me an idiot I'm in the passenger seat cause my heart took the wheel My feet on the dash can't control how I feel If I crash and burn that's too bad, I'll move on Cause you're worth the risk, cause you're the right kind of wrong Hello. My name is Jeremy Colton, and I'll be auditioning for the role of Ben in the one act, The Last Gasp. Okay, since our director has been remanded speechless, you can go ahead and start your monologue whenever you're ready. I thought you could free me, David. I mean, I really wanted to be able to love like you do, you know, so passionately. And I think if I met you five years later, maybe, it'd be amazing, you know? But now, I mean, you know who you are. I don't. Does anyone truly know who they are? Good job, um, little contrived. Um, so, where are you from? How much training have you had? Uh, I've done some community theater. I was in a short film once. Then, what is acting? You don't have to answer that. I think I do. Um, Acting is art. It's a mirror you hold up to people to show them what humanity looks like. It's the gateway to storytelling with depth and soul, but most importantly, it's about connecting to people. Damn, this kid is smart. And charming. And a few other things. Mags, will you show him the way out? Thank you so much. We'll let you know if we have to see anything more, okay? Please tell me he's playing you. Why, so you'll have another guy around who won't fuck you? It's not a bad idea, actually. I mean, we all casted ourselves hotter, and it sounds like he knows what you want. Maybe too well. Well, which one of these flaming homos is gonna play you? I mean, at least he was passable. Okay, so please tell me which casting Jeremy is you. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, you're gonna love this. He's an altar boy. <laughs> How does that even come up? It just does. Fuck, that reminds me. I started the church again today. Mags, will you drive me? Of course, Miss Daisy. Ah! How was the trip, Damien? This is my fucking house. You're in my parents' backyard. You can't just fucking show up here. You mean Coco's backyard? See, Damien, you owe her your life. And that means if you don't pay, someone else will. I'm going to pay you back. You will. And with interest. Don't let it all go into your nose. We know how hard it is for you to control your urges. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Don't take 
too long to offload, Damien. Don't run away this time. You're lucky. You're entertaining. Where's Max? She said she was gonna meet us at the campsite. Of course she did. All right, well, we got a busy schedule ahead of us. Where's Claire? Claire. Yeah, the random bitch who follows me around. You think I'm setting up my own tent? You're late. Sorry, Damien, the line at the coffee shop was long. Well, isn't this starting out so fun? I have my road juice. I'm ready to uh, discover the land like two cowboys exploring the land. I actually watched that movie. What movie? That's my life, darling. <laughs> yep. yep, Rick the Sheep Herder. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's driving? I just took a tab, so I can't. Yeah. Thought that I'd be healing now I didn't think I'd have to feel this now I thought I would've moved on But somehow the feeling's still strong Like I'll be on my way out Thinking that I'm good right suddenly You passed by now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now But I guess I'll never be tired Of you See what you want, see what you wrote, cause I wanna know, I wanna know Yeah, I'll be on my way out thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by, now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now, but I guess I'll never be tired Of you Of you Of you Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Damien. Damien. What happened? Damien. What happened next? What happened next? Why do you say that? What happened next? What happened next? What happened next, Damien? What up? You guys ready to come up tomorrow? Yeah, we're actually on our way in right now, but we're fucking Water off. Water and who the fuck is camping in the ever. sun? I do, Nathan. If you're worried about Water. it getting smaller, ah, don't worry, water. it can't. Water is the So you guys water. are coming up now? Water, weed, Ooh. and candy. Uh, oh, uh, candy, I love candy. <gasps> I love candy. Okay, who the fuck is with you? Who are you bringing to my fucking birthday? It's Thanya and Fox. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with Kay tomorrow, but she has to work at Party Hell. Yeah. Plus, your birthday isn't until next Friday. It's a two week celebration of my birth for a reason, Nathaniel. If you do not want to celebrate the amazingness that is me, you are not wanted. It's cool to come up now. You got the mushrooms? Yes. Yeah, it's cool. Is that the birthday, bitch? Okay. Isn't your boyfriend's birthday tomorrow? I told him I was sick. <laughs> I'm sure you did. So, we'll be there in about 20 minutes. Yeah, see you fuckers soon. Oh. Okay, figured it out. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> my love, my love, my love. Come on. Oh, and how royal of you. 
hiding on your own birthday. How common of you, crashing a party you weren't invited to. No, Damien. I'm the entertainment. I'm so entertained. So, about the play, mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you that I would like to withdraw my submission. Uh, okay, may I ask why? Well, since you asked, I wouldn't want people to think I got the role because I'm sleeping with the director. Also, I don't want to stop sleeping with the director. Who says you're getting the part anyway? Plus, I don't see us doing that again. Why? You forget to bring Ben's jacket? Mags can't help but open her mouth. You don't take no very well. You don't do a very good job of not kissing back. Unless, I mean, I figured now was the opportunity. You're not going to kiss me in front of them. I know the optics. You're assuming they'd care. My friends just want me to be happy. Unfortunately, it's hard to make a prick who had everything and lost it happy. Now how about some s'mores before my other friends arrive with the ecstasy? Oh, and I wouldn't mind being kissed again like that. Kind of nice to know you wanted. I wasn't gonna say anything. This is my first time doing E. You're joking. No, <laughs> I'm not joking. Dead serious. I mean, I've had plenty of opportunities. Just... The right one, you know. Something about you just makes me feel so comfortable. That crazy facade is a soul. It isn't like any honor. You're high. I'm high, yeah. Unless you believe the facade. Depends what you mean by the facade. God, I love your voice. It feels like it's wrapping me in a blanket. I can listen to your phone. What is wrong? It's a line I don't want to cross. You mean cross again? You weren't an actor in my show then, nor were we both on. Oh, it's fine. I told you I withdrew my audition. I don't accept. You can't throw away your talent. Listen. We can cuddle. We can connect. At least for tonight. We can't fuck. And I won't kiss you. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can connect. So, what is your favorite sign? Like astrological sign. Yes, like <laughs> astrological sign. Okay. Zodiac. Um, sure. I 
am a Sagittarius, and the only men who have ever stolen my heart have been cancers. I knew that. Oh yeah? Yeah, I did. How did you know that? I'm a cancer. Of course you are. <laughs> What's that cuddle, man? Let's prove that two gay guys on me can't just come. two people at the same time. The more important question is, do you believe? I don't know. Sometimes in life it's like you have two loves, and you know one is better for you in the long run. The other is that emotional train wreck love. The kind where your heart aches every second you're not together. The pain comes from knowing you can't ever trust people. Or you push so hard, you squeeze out any ounce of trust like the anaconda you are. Okay, uh, what is this crap? What is he doing here? This is mine. Which means you must want him here, baby. Maybe this is what you need. I gave you everything I had to give. No, you gave me what you thought I wanted. You couldn't be content with knowing that all I wanted was your trust. Don't ever talk to me about trust. You played me, Ben. Every moment you, you twisted my reality to make me feel like I was unlovable. I, I asked you for months over text if I should let you go, if I should get over you. And all you ever said was, was what was it? I have never asked you to. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, now he's silent, nothing to say. Why is the camping trip so important? No, when I told him I would just care for him, and to stop pushing me away. You pushed me away. I was depressed and confused, and scared. I wasn't me. You were a coward. Damien. The camping trip. What happened next? on this very campground. Travis was his name. Summer after eighth grade before freshman year. He was gonna be a sophomore. Went to some school in San Jose that both our families were here for a week. And right here is where my little heart broke, knowing I would never see Travis again. Fucking shrooms. <laughs> All right, we should get going. Fox will be the DJ tonight, and we have plenty of booze. And Faye will be donating a tab of acid since she can't be here. But she and Gork will be throwing Damien a party next month on the 16th. Huge party. No, acid I have done.
They're not as tight. Means you respect him. Damien can't understand that some guys may actually like him. I wonder who he keeps talking to. You really have to wonder. It's Ben. It's always Ben. I haven't seen him this heartbroken since Cody. It's almost like the time I told him I had a boyfriend. Don't you mean the day when he showed up and I had to stop him from going to your window because you were with your man? <laughs> hey, some men like what they have. Who are you talking to? Ben. It's always Ben. I'll be honest, <laughs> the sex wasn't even amazing. But the energy when we touched lit up my soul. Have you felt that before? Once. With Cody. It's not often I look into someone's eyes and never want to look away. What makes this camping trip so important? It's when I realized I couldn't keep everyone I loved safe. <laughs> so you must really love your friend. Vodka! The water of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> White girl wasted. <laughs> 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 Damien is more than a friend. He's that little brother that you know will leave you. Damien lives his life one foot off the edge of a cliff, holding the world in one hand and his truth in the other. One day he'll slip and he'll be me, sitting here, remembering his youth. Fox, she rubs me off so much better than you do. <laughs> Next time I'm stopping at her balcony before I even get to yours. <laughs> hey, think it's time for that roast? That is why you're the wise one. I got another noise complaint I gotta check out. Uh, but I'm gonna circle back. Circle back around and take a shot with you guys. You, sir, are welcome here when Everyone. Just seems to be a few more guests at the gate for the Diablo party. Okay, I'll let him in. I'm gonna point him in your guys' way. Oh, 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 Ranger Danger. <laughs> there might be a few more cars on the way. I posted the party on MySpace. <laughs> you know the family lodge of the computer and internet? <laughs> Luckily, the adult section's empty. You know, not many people camp in December. That is why we do. <laughs> <laughs> It is an honor to host this roast and celebration. We all know the rules. It's either a horrible story or how you met Damien. We'll keep with tradition and let his oldest friend start us off. Christopher? Why did you keep ignoring me? Because it's only when I'm doing okay, like finally doing good, that the people that I wanted to love me but couldn't decide that they can. It's like you have to tear my heart out and throw it away to realize it's worth something. 
Ben was not going to ruin my camping trip. Rachel already did that. What do you mean by Rachel? My best friend just doesn't come to my birthday camping trip. And why? Because she had to go to some family thing? I thought I was family. Okay, so there I am, my first year of community college. Stage managing my first musical. Opening night, I'm struggling to put Damien's pants on him as he's <laughs> rolling around his dressing room floor, giggling on acid. <laughs> She'd already called places. <laughs> Family isn't just blood. It's so much more than that. So there I am in Damien's closet after just getting fucked for the first time. Hey, not the first closet you've been in. <laughs> I'm hiding from Damien's parents because they just got home from the village. I am in that closet for four hours. And by the time I get home, the entire experience is posted on live journals. <laughs> oh. I remember that. Family's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. All I get is fucking nuts. Can't choose the caramels when all you got is nuts. Guess you can't choose who you love. So there I was when this bitch was hanging from my balcony trying to get onto this bitch's balcony. Uh. I mean, hey, he was trying to jump onto something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was horny. Oh, oh, horny enough to Tarzan for it. <laughs> Some people truly change your life. So it's eighth grade, Mr. Hoover's science class, and someone <laughs> is throwing trash at me. Like, who the fuck would throw trash at me? <laughs> I would like to dedicate this song to our beloved Damien. It's from the first show we ever did, Fiddler on the Roof. I realize these people fight for me in my life. Ben has never even tried. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the man of the hour. <laughs> Thank you, fuckers. Yes. Oh, it is good to know that you are loved. <laughs> well, we couldn't help but love our cult leader. <laughs> Damien, you and I have proven that two gay men can love each other deeply and never fuck. We are the miracle of miracles. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn it over to the man of honor. And just when you think you're secure, the ground begins to shake. What a nice birthday, Damien. I am so glad I saw that MySpace post about your amazing party. I did not know your kind drink beer. <laughs> Go enjoy the scenery while I talk to Will and Grace over here. Damien, you made me a promise that you would fix the problem. And it's been a month. Your brother paid a good portion of his debt, but not all of it. And now it's time to pay up with interest. I have a good gig. I'll be able to start paying you back. I'll make sure he does. <laughs> you will, Rick. And you want to know why he will, Damien? Because if you don't start paying your debt, your friends will start paying the price. Coco, I will pay you back every penny. And then some. Now, I drove all the way out here might as well celebrate my favorite Gogo boy.
Oh, and I brought Damien's favorite party favor. What the fuck are we gonna do? We're gonna enjoy the weekend and your birthday week. You're right. The universe will sort everything out. I feel kind of bad I didn't get you a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forgot their etiquette. <laughs> Coming to Damien's birthday without a birthday gift? <laughs> well, it's not too late to give me a gift. And what gift am I going to be able to give you at midnight in the middle of nowhere? Uh, not gonna happen. Told you I don't fuck people twice. But that has never stopped us. That's because you don't have feelings, Fox, so you can't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the feet. Oh, I'm really, really I'm not in that orgy stuff. I know I said I didn't want to have sex, but if you really wanted to give me a birthday gift, yeah. They sure don't care about nothing. <laughs> Damien has that effect on people. He's like a shot of freedom. If you don't know who you are, you will after meeting Damien. You sure do talk a lot about Damien. I want to see you fuck Nate. Show me you can drill him like the bitch he is. <laughs> You ever see a peep show? <laughs> Once, in Reno. Something tells me you see a lot more here at night than in Reno. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm not much of a boyer. <laughs> We don't do that very often. <laughs> don't go to uh, many bathhouses? someone to love you, Dan. You know what's funny? When I look into your eyes, I see pain. Pain that needs to be told. It's okay to cry. Sometimes crying isn't enough. 
I hear you. But what happened the other night with Nate and Fox? Yeah. That can't ever happen again. I felt used. You just didn't care if I wanted to feel that way. I mean, I want to comfort you, but you're not going to use me. So let's just take things slow, you know? Well, you and I are just friends, right? That's all we're ever going to be. So how's your trip? Now you speak to me. So it's my trip. Here, and I. Dude, I had to go home. My sister needed me. Dude, Joe was here. Yeah, but you weren't on auditions. It gave you some support. Looks like Jeremy is pretty supportive. What the fuck? He's an actor. Nothing is going on, and I'm really sick of that being implied. So you're casting porn now, too? Fuck you, Rachel. Stop judging my life. You were the one who liked Ben. Look at that fucking goddess. Dude, you cannot put that shit on me. I can't be part of the problem. What's the real problem? I've been nothing but a good friend. My birthday week is the most important week of the year for me. It's when I know who really loves me. Showing up means a lot more than people think. Why is it important? When I was uh, in first grade, I had one real friend, Max. I only remember this because it was the last year that I ever invited anyone from my class to a birthday party. I wanted a peewee golf party at Golfland. I was obsessed with Pee Wee Golf. I still am, to, to this day. Oh, uh, my parents rented the big party room. I was so excited to tell everyone in my class that they were invited to my all day golf land party. Uh, for weeks. Every kid in my class was telling me how excited they were to come. Max was especially excited because he was my best friend and he was going to be on my team. Max and I were like inseparable. It was like, it was, it was like, it was like, it was like the other half of me was Max. The day finally arrives, and um, me and my parents and my grandma went early to golf land to set up for my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle golf party. We set up like, you know, paper streamers and all those like, cheesy paper decorations. And my mom even made um, like goodie bags with candy. <laughs> Party was supposed to start at twelve, and of course, the first person there was Chris. We went to the arcade to play some games, pass the time while we waited for Max and the other uh, 35 <laughs> kids in my class to arrive. I 
I used to really love that uh, Simpsons arcade game. Like Bart and, and his skateboards just had <laughs> such a good game. Mm. Two hours passed like it was nothing. We got to the course because it was 2 p.m. and that's when it was supposed to start. And no one was there. I was there. Yeah, you were there. We both were there. And Max wasn't there. No one else was there. I remember Landon through his ski trip on your birthday. The whole class, including Max, went. They didn't even cancel their RSVP. They all just uh, ditched. And that is when I learned that sometimes your best friends will just leave you. We aren't just friends, though. <laughs> no. We are family. So was Ben's dick really as small as you said it was, Damien? It was, um, astounding. Astounding? Yeah. You ever been in a smart car? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, totally hotter than Ben. Absolutely. Yeah, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, I mean, regardless yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Did you know he was going to be here? Holy shit. <laughs> Your power of observation is remarkable. No, I had no idea. Okay, fuckers. Time to unpack from the weekend trip of my life. Hey, everyone. It's been a while. <laughs> Lauren, didn't realize you were going on this trip. How's Brittany? She was so excited for you to go to Reno with the family. No, I actually didn't go. Although, Pretty sure she told you we broke up. Yeah, I must have missed that text. This weekend was so much fun. Uh, we could take care of this if you need to talk, Damien. Thanks, Rick. Hey, can we talk? I thought our texts did a good job of that. I love you. Oh. Oh, what the fuck is this weekend? Damien. Damien, I called you like a hundred times. Yeah, and I ignored you. I missed you. I cried for you. For you. For fuck's sake, I'm writing a play for you. Well, if you're writing it, that means the ending isn't written yet. All right. Why are you here? It's your birthday week. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, Damien, thanks for the show. You really are a director. It was a blast. Um, anyway, I'll be home in no time for a Christmas break. Bye, Ben. I'll tell Brittany you said hello. There's no doubt her and Nate are friends. Yeah, my friends. Where the fuck are you going? I can handle a lot, but I can't handle this. Uh, nice seeing you, Ben. Let me help you take this stuff in. Okay, 
think that was the bathroom too. Maybe we can talk. Ben, I'm pretty drunk. And I'm pretty tired, so... I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Doesn't mean you can't come. I need to be helped. Something about, something about you.